guys welcome back to the channel today's recipe is a real caribbean classic and such an old dish with so much history it's south this dish has such a special place in our culture the ingredients are really really simple i've got some pigtail here which isn't salted i also have some red onion some garlic and scotch bonnet some cucumber which i've just peeled some fresh lime juice some coriander or shadonbeni and a little pineapple vinegar so to start with we want to add our pork to the pan and we're going to add some water and basically we want to pressure cook this until all of the meat is super tender and it's falling off the bone as the meat is cooking we want to prepare all the little ingredients that go into the sauce so i just want to slice up my onions slice up your cucumber Roughly chop your coriander or Sharon Benny. And then for the garlic and scotch bonnet, we want to add them to pestle and mortar. And I'm just going to crush them into a bit of a paste. Or you can finely chop. So far, all of our fresh ingredients are prepared. So just having a little look at our pork, this looks like it's ready now. So I'm just going to strain this. Mix it up in some cold water to cool it down. And then we're going to place it in a bowl. Next, we want to peel the pig's tail. So I want to separate the bones from the skin and the fat. I'm going to remove some of the fat because there's quite a lot on it. I want to keep the skin because that's a part of the dish and then take out any bones. Once you've done that, we want to assemble the sauce. So I'm going to add my onions to the bowl, the cucumber, the coriander, shadon benny, our garlic and scotch bonnet that's been crushed. And finally, our shredded pork. As you can see, that's everything in the bowl here. Now we just want to mix everything together lightly. Then we want to season with a little salt and a little black pepper. Next, we want to add our lime juice. So this dish does require a lot of acid. So I'm using the juice of two limes as well as some vinegar. If you don't want to use vinegar, you can use all limes and then just substitute the amount with the lime juice. So lime juice going in, followed by our pineapple vinegar. Again, give it another mix. Then we want to add some water so, and that basically makes a brine that the cucumbers, onions and the pork will essentially pickle in overnight. So whilst our sauce is pickling, we can prepare our pudding, which is basically steamed sweet potato. So our ingredients here, we have some sweet potato, some crushed garlic, some chopped up onions, some scotch bonnet or pimento butter, fresh thyme, fresh spring onion and some dried madurin. To start with, we want to peel and grate our sweet potato. So I'm using um, Jamaican sweet potato, which you can find in the market. If you use the orange one, that's also fine. Next, you just want to add that to a bowl. Followed by our chopped up onions, marjoram, garlic. And then we're going to just pick our thyme leaves and add those to the bowl. Then we're going to chop up our scotch bonnet, add that to the bowl. Then we want to add a little sugar, crushed black pepper and some salt. And just give that a mix. Next, we want to add our butter and a little bit of oil that just makes it nice and rich. And give it another mix. Then you want to cover it with some foil steam it so i've got a pan of boiling water here make sure you're using a heat proof bowl so it doesn't crack and just place the bowl on top of the water to steam for about 45 minutes to an hour but you know when it's cooked when the sweet potato goes to a dark color and it's nice and soft to touch almost like mashed potato after an hour your sweet potato pudding should look like this see how it's changed color all of the onions and garlic and seasonings have cooked down into it once that's cooled a little, we can get our sauce out of the fridge, which I have here, and then it's ready to plate up. So the sauce, you can see, cucumbers have broken down a little bit. The onions have changed color slightly through the pickling from the lime juice and the vinegar. You can eat it cold, or if you want, take it out a little bit before you're ready to eat to get it to room temperature. So traditionally, my grandma would make this on Christmas morning, but it's something you could eat in the Caribbean all year round. And in Barbados especially, they serve this on a Saturday. So I really do hope you enjoy this recipe, guys. It's a real classic and another one with a beautiful story. Until the next time, peace and love.